Howdy, I'm Bob Terry, and welcome to Free Westerns on the Web, brought to you by Wild West Toys, and welcome to this episode of The Cisco Kid, starring Duncan Ronaldo and Leo Carrillo. You know, this is a very action-packed Western, and I'm sure you'll notice there are some stuntmen involved, but, you know, Leo Carrillo and Duncan Ronaldo had been in movies for a long time when they started making the Cisco Kid in the early 50s. Duncan Ronaldo was in his 50s and Leo Carrillo was almost 70 years old when they started making this series. Watch these guys. You talk about tough western guys. We'll see you after the show. Here's Adventure. You're going to take a little ride. You can't wait till they hang me, can you, Sheriff? Bonanza Valley never did like killers. We'll be glad to get rid of you. You ought to easily reach state prison by sundown, Charlie. All right, let's go. be out of those in a minute. Thanks, but who are you? Let's just say I'm a friend. From now on, you're traveling with me. Where to? Why not wait and be surprised? up your head. It's uncanny. Positively remarkable. I don't get it. What's this all about? Come here. I'll show you. Take a look. Well, it's like looking at myself in a mirror. Who is he? That's Henry P. Murdoch, my employer. I'm his personal business manager. But I still don't get it. It's all very simple. From now on, you're going to be Henry P. Murdoch. What do you say? 
Well, it, it's better than hanging, isn't it, though? No wonder they never reached state prison. But where'd Hardy get hold of a gun? He didn't. And he couldn't have sprung himself without help. Look. Oh, the Cisco Kidney's friend Poncho. I've seen those troublemakers before. I wonder what they're doing in this area. You just said that Hardy had to have help. Yeah. Come on. Stop here, Cisco. To listen. To listen? I hear only the birds. And the crickets. And the crickets. And the sheriff's posse. And the sheriff's posse. <laughs> the sheriff's posse? Yeah. Hey, Cisco, what do the sheriff want with us? We didn't did nothing wrong. Lately? Of course not, Pancho. We'll wait here and tell the truth. When the sheriff's bullets talk louder than words, there ain't no use talking. Let win. Pancho, wait! Like nothing happened, nothing will. In the meantime, I want to borrow that rifle. Your pistols, too. to jump off back there in the rock somewhere. Come on, let's go. What are you doing out here? Looking at you, uh, running away from the sheriff. A bandit? The worst bandit in the whole country. Get off this coach. I will, in just a minute, as soon as you tell me your name. Of all the nerves. I'll report you to the sheriff as soon as we get to Willow Springs. Then there'll be another sheriff looking for the Cisco kid. I'll see you soon in Willow Springs, eh? Come on, Diablo!
You know, Cisco, these horses, uh, Diablo and Loco, he's got good horse senses. They are horses, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, well, Cisco, why the sheriff, he always take after us? We'll find out. You know, I don't got one curious bones in my body. We have to go to Willow Springs anyway. Oh, why we have to go to Willow Springs? Important business, Pancho. We will return in just a moment with the climax of our exciting adventure of the Cisco Kid. Signature, Mr. Murdoch, and we'll be that much richer. You're getting to like this job better every day. Yes, and you're getting to handle yourself more like Murdoch every day, too. Thank you. Who's that? Murdoch's niece. Attends school in the East. She used to spend her summer vacations here at the ranch, but she hasn't been out here in five years. I forgot about her. Well, what do I do and how do I act? Be surprised, but pleased at her visit. Her name's Margie. Look who's here, Donna. Aren't you surprised to... You're not Donna. Donna isn't here any longer. Oh, I see. I came to see Uncle Henry. He's in there. Thank you. Uncle Henry. Margie, this is a surprise. I meant it to be. Well, you certainly succeeded. How are you, Mr. Holbrook? Splendid, thank you, Miss Manning. It's good to have you back again. Thank you. Good to be here. I'll have Sarah take you to your room. Excuse me. Uh -huh. Sarah? Oh, Sarah? Yes, sir? Have you met my niece, Margie? We've met. She's going to be with us for quite a little while, I hope. See that she's comfortable. I'll get her room ready. After you freshen up a bit, we'll have a little visit. Fine. Has Uncle Henry been ill lately? Not since I've been here. Why? He doesn't seem quite himself. He's been busy with Mr. Holbrook. Come with me. We could do without her. Maybe that can be arranged. I hope that killer horse doesn't disappoint us. I don't think he will. Plenty of spirit, haven't you, boy? Uncle says we'll get along all right. <laughs> Pancho. I'll take her back to the ranch. You chase down that runaway horse and meet us there. Margie. What happened? The horse ran away and threw her. Ranger? You seem so gentle. Something must have frightened him. I'm indebted to this gentleman. So am I. This gentleman is the Cisco Kid. Where's your friend Pancho? Covering your back with a gun? That won't work. You can't bluff me into turning around. There ain't no bluff, senor. I never shoot a man in the back. 
when I can look him faces to faces. These men are wanted for murder and for helping some prisoner escape. Please don't believe all you hear. And you, sir, don't believe everything you read. The sheriff's poster was a mistake. I'm going to do something about it. to Bonanza, and besides the sheriff who chases, he lives there, and the senorita, she's in Willow Springs. But Pancho, we are supposed to have released a prisoner from jail on Bonanza, right? See? Si. Well, then the only place where he can find out what really happened is Bonanza, isn't it? See? Si. Well? What in place are you doing here? Waiting for you? Well, of all the nerve, I've got half of Bonanza Valley out searching the county for you. That's what I'm trying to find out about. Why? Why don't you look with somebody else? We didn't do nothing for a long time. Quit your bluffing. You know what I want you for. And what you're doing now will put you on ice for a hundred years. It's too cold. Who is this prisoner we're supposed to have released? Are you joking? You're a very stubborn man, Sheriff. <laughs> That's what makes Sheriff Sheriff, I think. Tell me his name and do it quickly. Hardy. You must have a wanted poster with his picture on it. Get it. I'd like to see what he looks like. Are you trying to make a fool of me? <laughs> Don't blame us for what nature did. Do what Cisco told you. Here. I didn't release this prisoner, Sheriff. But I'll have him in for you in 24 hours. Yeah, you'll guarantee that, I suppose. Of course I will. If you like it, I'll leave Pancho here as a guarantee. If I don't come back, you can hang him. See? Si. Hang Pancho? No, no. Cisco. Yeah. Let's win. I go first. Hey, what do you mean I'm gonna bring this man to the sheriff when we don't even know him? Here, take a look at this. Well, you know. Yes, Pancho. He looks exactly like that girl's uncle. Why do we have to go get him? Why don't we just tell the sheriff? Because I want to spare the feelings of a very nice girl. Oh, spare the feelings of a very nice girl, eh? Bah. <laughs> Come on, Pancho. I'd like to see Mr. Murdoch. You're on very important business. Went on a hunting trip. Hunting trip? Where? Didn't say. Maybe Miss Margie knows. She went with him. Mr. Holbrook, too. Any message? Yes, but I'll deliver it in person. Come on, Pancho. So these nice, sweet little girls, she want to go hunting, too. Huh? She's just like her uncle. You know, Pancho, I would have never believed it. What are you going to do now? Try to pick up their trail? <laughs> You're like that, huh? That's not going to be so hard. Looks like they're traveling with a loaded pack mule. See? Small hoof prints. Come on, let's go.
I'll be here. The pack shifted, and I'll have to tighten it. Tonic trip is like old times. I think you needed a tonic like this, Uncle Henry. <laughs> oh. What's the matter? You're using your right hand. So what? Uncle Henry was left-handed. You're not my uncle. That's right, Miss Manning. What have you done to Uncle Henry? He went on a little hunting trip with us, just like this. Senorita girl, oh, and her very nice uncle. No, not right away, Pancho. First, we'll see what they're up to. I have a feeling the girl is not involved. Make sure we're not interrupted. Right. You're not going anywhere. He's not my uncle. I know it. Everything is going to be all right. Don't worry. Thanks, Pancho. Oh, there didn't was nothing to it. I do the same for you. Cisco, I'm worried. Worried about what? You told the sheriff we didn't brought this man in in 24 hours, he could hang Pancho. We're going to bring him in, aren't we? Mm. See? Well, then your worries are over. That's what I'm worried about. About what? Well, if my worries are over, I won't have nothing to worry about. Oh, Pancho. Oh, <laughs> Cisco. <laughs> the Cisco kid will be back in a moment. But first, an important message.
Hope you enjoyed this episode of The Cisco Kid, starring Duncan Ronaldo and Leo Carrillo, and brought to you free on the internet by Wild West Toys, the only manufacturer of American-made Western toy cap guns. You can shop online with Wild West Toys at www.toyguntown.com. Thanks again for joining us, and we hope to see you again on Down the Trail.